Welcome to our annual evening of excellence. While we wish we were all gathered together, we are so happy all of you could join us this evening. My name is Jill Purvis and I'm the Executive Director of Warrensburg Main Street. And with me this evening is our events coordinator, Jamie DeBacker. The Evening of Excellence is an opportunity for Warrensburg Main Street to recognize our volunteers and all of the people who have contributed to our annual partnership campaign. 2020 brought many challenges and changes to our organization. Just like all of you, we spent most of the year adjusting to everything COVID threw our way. As we enter 2021, we are hopeful and optimistic that this year we will provide opportunities for our organization to continue the revitalization efforts to make our downtown a place our entire community can enjoy. Every year, Warrensburg Main Street relies on a group of individuals to help us meet our yearly goals. We have four standing committees that focus on design, economic vitality, organization, and promotions. We also have a working board of 11 volunteers and four ex officios, as well as numerous amount of volunteers who help us on our event committees. Overall, we have about 50 individuals who volunteer a significant amount of time on a regular basis to support Warrensburg Main Street. In 2020, we had over 2,100 volunteer hours logged by these amazing individuals and countless others within our community. Needless to say, a global pandemic cannot dim the desire of these volunteer spirits. We cannot thank all of our volunteers enough for stepping up and giving back, especially to our community and our downtown in a time that they needed it the most. Our goal every day at Main Street is to foster small business owners while working to preserve all the things which make this downtown special. We want to create special moments, events, and memories for our entire community. As we reflect on 2020, we want to highlight some of our accomplishments this year. We were able to hold over 50 events and activities for our community, completed our alley activation, including public art, lighting, benches, and planters. We were able to plant nine new trees on Pine Street, which we hope will flourish as years go by. The investment of these two projects alone is over $15,000 into our downtown. A portion of these projects were funded by a Livable Communities Grant from AARP and a TRIM Grant from the Missouri Department of Conservation. The remainder of the funds come from our partners and sponsors who generously give financial support to the works of Warrensburg Main Street. Some of our most dedicated volunteers are our Board of Directors, Advisory Board, and Ex Officios. These individuals help shape the vision and set the tone for the organization. Tonight, I would like to recognize our 2020 Board of Directors, our Advisory Board, and our Ex Officios. Let's start with our Board of Directors. Our President this year is Ian Meisner, Vice President Mike Carey, Secretary Gina Carlisle, Treasurer Rhonda Gelbach, and Board Members include Amy Nabiev, Jason Elkins, Crystal Schreiner, Riley Purvis, Chance Riddle, Rob Lugaro, and Tina Simon. Our advisory board includes Rex Smar, Katie Scully, Michelle Merker, Kevin Smar, and Sarah Craig. We have several ex officios that also serve on our board. City of Warrensburg Representative Scott Holmberg, Warrensburg Police Department Representative Jeff Reynolds, Warrensburg Arts Commission, Erin St. George, and a representative from the University of Central Missouri, Jessica Rhodes. Warrensburg Main Street is an organization funded by a variety of ways. One of the primary sources of support comes from our generous donations of our partners. Each October, our board of directors reach out to the community members and businesses to contribute financially to our partnership campaign. These generous individuals believe in the great work and mission of our organization and they support us each year. Many of you may wonder, what does it mean to be a partner of Warrensburg Main Street? And why is this important? We organize over 50 various events in 2020, but we do many other things in our office that are not considered events, like downtown business owner meetings, collecting statistics from businesses, volunteer recruitment events, organize and recruit volunteers and interns, collaborate with various UCM classes, manage multiple social media accounts, manage and run farmer's market, and so much more. 
We receive funding from the City of Warrensburg, grants, fundraisers, sponsors, and our partners. We have over 40 individuals or businesses that have committed to our partnership campaign that will provide necessary funds to continue our downtown revitalization efforts. Our partners are vital to the health and success of our organization, and we want to thank you all for your participation and for your contributions. Hi, my name is Amy Nabiev. I am a standing member on the Warrensburg Main Street Board of Directors. I have been on the committee since 2020, uh, but I've been involved in Warrensburg Main Street since about 2010. Um, I love being involved in Warrensburg Main Street because I want to know what's going on as far as events, and I just wanted to immerse myself in the happenings of downtown Warrensburg. I own a business here in Warrensburg, downtown. It is 360 Media. We chose this area just so we could be part of the community a little bit better and be more involved. There are so many opportunities to get involved with this organization. If you're looking to give back to the community, I definitely recommend Warrensburg Main Street. And thank you again to all of our partners and businesses who make Main Street happen. Hi, uh, this is Tina Simon, and I've been a member of Main Street for, gee whiz, I'm not sure how many years now. I got involved because I'm a Warrensburg hometown girl, and I really loved everything I saw, Main Street, Warrensburg Main Street, um, taking action, the events they were doing, cleaning up our downtown, and the big thing for me was that they got the whole community involved with coming to downtown. And you know the old saying, um, your heart is the downtown, and that is, for me, it's very true. So with the new year coming, I would like to encourage anyone who wants to get involved with our Orangeburg Main Street program, this would be a great opportunity to get out, to uh, meet local people, to really just be a part of our community. Now the moment we have all been waiting for, our volunteer awards. These awards are for volunteers, businesses, and community organizations who have made an impact not only to Main Street, but also to downtown Warrensburg during 2020. This year has been especially difficult and trying for our downtown businesses. They were faced with situations which had no playbook or proven strategies for success. Warrensburg Main Street is so proud of all of our businesses downtown and their perseverance, love for our community, and drive to be successful during a time when no one knew what the future held. The 2020 Business of the Year nominees are Tranquility Shop. Tranquility Shop opened in downtown Warrensburg in October of 2015 by owners Tony and Becky Axton. Tranquility is a unique retail business that supplies natural products, holistic products, and services to support shoppers seeking alternative methods for emotional, physical, and spiritual well-being. Tranquility Shop has created a very loyal shopper base that has supported them over the years and their products, and high customer service that has added to their popularity. During COVID-19, Tranquility was able to use their time to tackle the enormous task of creating a website with online sales and even started a box subscription for their customers. Tranquility Shop is an active participant in Warrensburg Main Street, supporting us financially, attending business meetings, participating in our events, and contributing positive ideas for our downtown. Becky and her staff always have a smile to greet you when you walk in the door and provide a friendly environment that makes you feel like a part of the Tranquility family. And the next nominee is Heroes Restaurant. Heroes Restaurant, an anchor in our downtown since 1981, Heroes has been a constant supporter of Warrensburg Main Street. Jay Meldrum has continued the legacy of a locally owned, family-friendly, community-minded restaurant that provides delicious food for everyone that dines locally. COVID has hit restaurants especially hard, and Jay has done some amazing things to keep Heroes the special place that we all love. During the shutdown, Jay decided was a perfect time to update and remodel the inside of the restaurant. If you have not had a chance to see all the changes, stop by and ask for a tour. Jay has also took advantage of the opportunity to provide grab-and-go alcohol to customers. World famous unknown heroes were a staple at gatherings all summer long. This pivot allowed Jay to keep heroes on everybody's mind, reminding them why they love this local restaurant. 
Jay has always been generous to Warrensburg Main Street and is a longtime financial supporter as well as an active member of our downtown business community. The third nominee is MKT Clothing Company. MKT Clothing Co. owners Karen Vick and Rachel Mifflin started MKT inside Karen's ice cream shop, The Market, and they grew it into its own brick and mortar location at the end of 2018. During the early stages of COVID, Karen decided to do a Facebook Live showcasing some of their accessories on a whim. The response was incredible and led to the ladies doing weekly Facebook Live sales as they adventured through the unknown of COVID-19. This innovative idea allowed them to significantly increase sales and allowed them to move into a new, larger location. Their audience now looks forward to their Friday live sales and this innovative way of shopping has allowed them to keep a rising audience and new items in their storefront. Karen and Rachel are active with Warrensburg Main Street with their generous donations, open ideas for improvements and willingness to participate in any Main Street activity or event. We are thrilled to have this growing business in our downtown and look forward to what's next with these creative women. And the winner of our Business of the Year Award goes to MKT Clothing Company. Thank you so much for, for this award. This yeah. is so cool. We have put a lot of our heart and soul into MKT Clothing Co. And we've been really, really fortunate with how well that it's gone um, with COVID. And we know that a large part of that is because of the help from Main Street and the love of our customers from downtown. And we don't take that for granted at all. Um, we are just so thankful yeah, and we're and so happy to be in downtown Warrensburg. We never, we don't want to ever be anywhere else. We, we love our downtown. If we had a word for 2020, it was perseverance. And I feel like that really um, you know, shine through and it will bring us into 2020, Yeah. Thanks guys. The next category is the 2020 community partner of the year. The first nominee is Johnson County United Way. One of Warrensburg Main Street's organizational goals for 2020 was to add more public art to downtown. At the beginning of 2020, United Way Executive Director Scott Holmberg sat down with us to brainstorm ways we could partner our two organizations on projects in downtown. The result of this meeting was a multiple faceted project which included students at Reese School planning and creating planters for our downtown alley activation. United Way then integrated an additional tile art project to the alley which they partnered on with the Warrensburg Arts Commission and Sterling Elementary students and staff. The overall result was colorful planter beds in the alley, which added a fun element to our newly activated alley, as well as more public art downtown by students within our own community. Johnson County United Way continues to work closely with Warrensburg Main Street to help create fun, clean spaces for the community to enjoy. They always contribute a helpful hand in our downtown beautification projects and cleanup days. We are so grateful to have this partnership with them as they are truly an example for our Community Partner of the Year. The second nominee is Davis and Bell Auction. Chad Davis and James Bell are a constant and much anticipated part of our annual Piccadilly fundraiser. Davis and Bell have selflessly volunteered their time to our annual event for eight years. Their wit, charm, and friendly personalities have increased our auction sales, and they make all of the attendees feel warm and welcome, often calling them out by name. Chad and James are always willing to help every time that we have asked. They are such a staple at our Piccadilly, and the event would not be the same without them present. Warrensburg Main Street is honored to have community members that support our organization so selflessly. The third nominee for Community Partner of the Year is Warrensburg Chamber of Commerce. The Warrensburg Chamber of Commerce is a longtime partner with Warrensburg Main Street. Suzanne and her team have worked closely with our staff on Love What's Local since its inception. The Chamber also is working with Main Street to bring a wine walk to our downtown. COVID canceled our plans for the walk in 2020, but we are hopeful that the event can be held in 2021. 
The Chamber participates yearly in our Dickens event, as well as promotes all of our events to their membership community. We are very lucky to have such a strong partnership with our Chamber, and we enjoy working so closely with them. And the winner for the 2020 Community Partner of the Year is Johnson County United Way. Well, thank you. It is um, extremely humbling, and um, we're very grateful to uh, Main Street for the partnership. I think part of the um, spiel I'll give here is tell a little bit about what is Johnson County United Way. And so most folks know United Way. It's a, a global organization, but it's locally ran. So our local um, United Way chapter has board of directors of, of folks, and um, the current focus is on youth. And so when we went into Reese, education center we wanted a organization in the community to come and present and request of the students a project and so they could run through and actually accomplish something using action not just um, you know talk about it or classroom so jill was kind enough to come over and um, she presented to the students what they would like to do what alley activation is and so then the um, the next steps were exciting in that we had you know, uh, Brandon English, one of the bank bankers in town from FNC Bank, came over, did a budgeting class. We had Steve Carter from Carter Painting come in and do um, a painting class. And then for one of the projects, uh, Blake and Dave from Integrity Roofing. And so as you walk through this, you hear a lot of different community folks in. And the goal is to take these students, especially the students that um, are going to alternative high school, and pair them out with um, business leaders. And so when you listen to those names, each one of those people are very powerful and very involved in the community. And that's the example we want them to see um, part of the project when we were in the alleyway Carmen from Green Truck Bakery was came out talked to the students they got um, treats which you know would be is really great to hang out with um, the baker but uh, anyway these students were able to to interact on the tile board one of the things that um, one of the students needed was extra time to graduate and so because Johnson County United Way is an outside organization and we were doing a project for um, partnership with Main Street the hours that we were able to arrange for him to work with myself and Main Street helped this young man graduate and so it feels very um, very rewarding to be a part of downtown be a part of Main Street um, and we appreciate it very much thank you the next category is Volunteer of the Year. The Volunteer of the Year Award is for an individual that has devoted countless hours to helping Warrensburg Main Street without hesitation. And the nominees are Janice Russell. Janice reached out to Main Street asking if she could come and volunteer on a regular basis working in our office. Janice started her volunteer time with us in January of 2020. She came into our office eager to learn and expand her knowledge. She faithfully came up to our office twice a week, volunteering, completing various tasks, and anything that we actually asked her to do. Janice was with us until we had to shut down the office due to COVID. Janice is a jewel for the Warrensburg community as she is involved and supports many other local organizations. We look forward to working with her again in the future when COVID allows. The second nominee for Volunteer of the Year is Alexis McConnell. Alexis started volunteering with Warrensburg Main Street by joining our art committee in 2020. This committee was new to our organization, so in forming members, we looked out for local residents, teachers, and artists within Warrensburg. As a local art teacher, Alexis eagerly joined the newly formed Main Street Art Committee. She was part of a new group of volunteers that started to visualize and identify art projects in downtown. The committee set creative goals and chose to create a paint by number mural for one of the first new projects to add to downtown Warrensburg. When beginning the early stages of this project, Alexis stepped up and took the artist's drawing and transferred it onto two nine foot by five foot boards as the artist herself was unable to complete this portion of the project. Alexis worked for well over 50 hours to complete the mural and bring the artist's vision from paper to its new art form. The mural was then painted by volunteers and will be hung on the side of Awesome Blossoms in 2021. Alexis is a committed Main Street volunteer and has attended a state Main Street training in 2020 to gain even more knowledge about our organization. We are thrilled to have a creative and dedicated volunteer for our organization. 
The third nominee for Volunteer of the Year is Sarah Carey. Sarah Carey has been a longtime supporter of Warrensburg Main Street. She has volunteered her creativity for art walks, sidewalk murals, and window paintings for many downtown businesses. In 2020, Main Street started a new art committee to help create and guide a new desire for public art in downtown. Sarah was one of the first people that we thought of to be part of this new committee. Sarah is a local art teacher and has participated in previous art walks with Main Street. When the new art committee began to identify potential products, a paint-by-number mural was at the top of the list. After some initial artist ideas did not pan out, Sarah eagerly volunteered to create the paint-by-number design using Old Drum as the primary focus for the piece. Sarah's design is a bright, cheerful artwork that will be a wonderful addition to our downtown. And the 2020 Volunteer of the Year is Alexis McConnell. Well, thank you. Um, the art project, the art mural, um, everything that has gone into it, it took a long time, but I'm glad to see it come together. I'm glad to be able to work around other volunteers and to make it a community project that will be broadcasted in Warrensburg. So thank you guys. The final award for the evening is the Heart of Downtown. The Heart of Downtown Award is for an individual or group who goes above and beyond to help downtown and Main Street achieve their goals and make ideas come to life. Tonight, we recognize the Mitchell Tree family. Monica became a member of the Main Street staff in 2020 as our farmer's market manager. During a year of shutdowns, stay-at-home orders, masks, and social distancing, Monica increased the size of our market by 75% enabling our market vendors to have a very successful season. Although Monica worked on our staff, we soon learned the entire Mitchell Tree family has a heart for volunteering and helping their local community. As an Air Force family, they jump in immediately at each new location to volunteer. Brandon, Monica, Grace, and Liam began to consistently volunteer for our organization. They often brought other airmen with them when they volunteered and no project or activity was too big for them to tackle. They have worked on renovations for our office, done countless hours of trash cleanup and landscape maintenance, and so many other tasks. They are constantly available to help us and the family has easily volunteered over 400 hours since May. This family is very special to our organization. They are always asking for more projects or ways to help make our downtown a better place for our entire community. And the winner for the Heart of Downtown Award for 2020 is the Mitchell Tree family. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> right. I did not do that. I did not. Thank you. <laughs> You're right. I'm confused. <laughs> we played a little trick. I see I that. <laughs> Thank you very much for nominating us as well as for um, presenting us with this award. We definitely like to do this as a family just for give back it's almost something something positive always comes out of something positive of movement so um with that we've always kind of always helped each other out to pursue different things and showing positive into the community is always a good thing for you know we believe to show our kids as well that hopefully it catches on and kind of inflicts everybody else at the same time <laughs> But thank you very much, and definitely very, very humbled. <laughs> thank you, Main Street. Thank you. thank you, everyone, for attending tonight. We can't express to you how much your support means to us. We look forward to seeing you in 2021. Good night.